Anthony, an eight goal thriller. The fans certainly enjoyed that, but what about the head coach's perspective? Yeah, no, we didn't really, if I'm honest. Uh, it was a uh, far too close for comfort second half. Um, I didn't think we played very well in the second half at all. We created a few chances and should have finished them off and put the game to bed. And then to concede three goals in that game was, was really disappointing, if I'm honest. Um, credit to the opposition. I thought they were fantastic, kept going all the way to the end. Always a threat on the counter-attack, good from set plays. And obviously had a good good bit of experience in there. I really like Don and Hugh, I've seen in the Football League before and done well. And listen, credit to them, made an absolute game of it. And at 4-3, it could have gone either way. And they're putting the ball in the box. And it was far too far too close for comfort for us. And although great to get over the line with the win, we'd, we'd expect a better performance at home for sure. It was a great start though, just five minutes on the clock, 1-0 up. But that lead only lasted for 13 minutes. Yeah, it, it did. I thought we, we could have got a second during that time. Um, we did create a few chances, but we did always look a threat from set play. So fair play to the players who's been practicing on them a lot. We, we highlighted a few areas of weakness in their game from them and, and they really came forward today. So we, we were pleased to get those goals early on. And the New Saints were two goals ahead on two occasions, pegged back both times. Mm. However, it was third time lucky and that's what the final score ended up as 5-3. Yeah, I mean, look, it was it was a lot more, it looks like a comfortable win of 5-3, I think, but it was a, a lot more uncomfortable in the second half for us, there's no doubt about that. Um, I thought we stopped passing the ball, um, we didn't create a, enough chances, although we created some chances in the second half, but I thought we lost our way a little bit second half, and that's very unlike us. And it, listen, it could be a, a combination of a number of things, maybe physically the players now are starting to feel that European trip. I know it was a quick turnaround when we played uh, Newtown last week, but... We looked a little bit leggy and tied towards the end, if I'm honest. So, yeah, look, we might have to freshen things up and see how it goes. But look, credit to the players. They got the job done and, and, and we'll take the three points. And let's talk positive, shall we? Five goals and five different names on the score sheet, including defenders. Yeah, well, there, there was a few set plays in there. So I um, was not surprised. One good second, um, second phase set play where Danny Rebham popped the ball back in and Blaine... Hudson headed it back across goal, which was pleasing. And yeah, li listen, we, if you're sharing the goals around, that's great. We, we don't really mind who gets them as, as long as we get them and, and, and get the three points. And four new signings and the fourth one has now finally got his name on the score sheet as well, Ash Baker. Yeah, I mean, it's been difficult for Ash. He's come in and he, and he had a little injury at the start and um, he'd been out for a while and hadn't trained that much. So we're still p c catching him up to speed. Um, it's been a difficult period for him, but he's such a hard worker, good lad really fitted in well with the group and was pleased for him to get on the score sheet probably unexpected from the corner if I'm honest for him but um, no look he's been doing well and, and hopefully he can he's push his way into that team soon and another positive the 100% start of the season continues yeah of course listen we, we want to win every game at home and, and also away as well and we know where our targets lie this season and, and our target is to try and win the league so we need to be winning at home and, and winning those games well so yeah look we're, we're pleased with 100% record and, and we want to keep it going and talking of away, we're in Pembrokeshire next weekend, so another week to prepare for the one against Haverford West County. Yeah, good. Listen, we'll be back into it um, this week, straight straight back away and, um, and, and working hard to, to correct the areas that we need work on and do our research on them as usual and, and show them the respect that they deserve and, and, try, and uh, try and go down there and get three points again.